and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nation and shall rebuke many. And shall what? And shall rebuke many. many. And rebuke means to tell them off. Because they've done wrongs, bro. They're gonna be a, they have to be a couple. Big God is not watching what they're doing to his chosen people and thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna let them get away with it. If God is so righteous like you're saying, he needs to pay these guys back. Go to Numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. And, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. And he's gonna beat the swords into plowshares. So when you beat your sword into a, that's our, that's our YouTube channel, yeah? They keep axing our channel, so we have to keep making new ones. They're gonna beat us, the swords, into plowshares. That means, from having a sword, it's gonna be a, a tool of farming. Plowshare means to plow and to talk to. So, no more wars, no more Iran versus America, no more Palestine versus Israel, no more Russia versus England. They're gonna turn the nuclear weapons into now work and slaves for the Israelites. Uh, uh, and, and the judgment, Oh, and the and their spears into pruning hooks. And their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift, lift up a sword against nations. So that's what they're doing right now. This is how you know this ain't the end days. The end days is when nations shall not lift up swords against nations. Don't you want to live in a world where there's no war, where your children can walk down the road and the police ain't gonna gun them down? Do you get? It? Who gets gunned down by the feds? Who gets tasered in the backs? Who gets fills up the jail cells, man? It's not the Turks. It's not the it's not the Hamites, bro. It's, no, it's no. No, bro. Let's listen, bro. 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 Bro, look, look. look hold that, hold that, King. Hold that, King. Look. Who's this? Who fill, how many men are in these jail cells, bro? Yeah, so why do we fill up these jail cells, man? Because all of the other nations, all the other nations are against us, bro. And now hear this, brother, yeah? He's not Egyptian. He's wearing that because of lack of knowledge, King. He needs to get info, bro. After today, hopefully, next time we see you, I'll, I'll, next time we see you, after, no, hopefully you can get rid of that. Because that can't do nothing for you, bro. It can't. It doesn't. Bro, what has that done? Has that talked to you? Has that talked to you? Let's just go ahead and 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 Bro, 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 do you know what, you know what James means? You know what James means? King James is a fatty man. Well, but who told you that? But who told you that? Bro, bro, bro. If, look, if you die, if you die, right? If you die, and I say, yo, this guy was a fatty man, well, you was your fatty man. So whoever told people that, right, was to discredit our James. So let me give you a history. Let me give you, this is real Bible. Because he said, if man lie down with mankind, in the Catholic Church, right, the, part, the, the, the vicars, the, what are they doing? They're fucking the choir, isn't it? All right? So now, so now, in this Bible, in this Bible, right, it says, if man lie down with mankind, they have committed an abomination. Did you get that? So we cannot go and say that King James is a batty man. If he wrote that batty man shall be put to death. Well, but, but, did you get what I just said? King James can't be a batty man if he says batty man shall be put to death. Do you get that? That would be dumb for King James to write that and give that to people. Do you get that? So now people that are discrediting King James that don't want him to see as righteous because if they want to hide something from us, what do they do? So what are they? What are we doing now? Reading a book for ourselves. If we read that the Israelites are black, bro, all right? Hey, shut up, man. You're getting slavery. All right, read, read. This Just is the book of Habakkuk. All this is, brother, all this is, brother, yeah, is Satan is trying to come and take away the no word education. from the people, yeah? You this ain't no for education. none of these guys. No. It's only for the people that have been put through these conditions. You can't read none of these guys no. have been put through conditions like this. What They're trying you know? to take you away, but you're powerful, you're a king. What do you know? You Believe this, bro. But remember what he just tried to say to you. Why is why is why is God why is God why is God doing this to us? You have to wake up. So let's find out. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse eighteen. Not prophet, a graven image, and that 
And every time he tries to read the Bible, bro, he's, he's talking in your ear like some devil, man. He didn't go to your platform. If you make a platform, bro, you can do your thing. You know what I mean? Damn, man. Show some respect. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 18. What profit is the graven image? So, what profit is images, man? You understand? That's why we don't have. Yo, 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 shut your mouth. We're talking, man. We got, if you got a stick, yeah, and you got a stone, all right? Look, if I was in my back in my day, in my worldly days, he could never talk to me like this. I'm telling you, bro. You see, Stark, you see, you see, you see, man, like Sykes. Sykes knows, man, bro. He knows my bro. Bro, when I, I know Sykes, bro. When I, when I was on the road, these men wouldn't talk to me like this. None of these goons were out here talk to man like this, bro. You understand this? But now, because I'm reading my, holding my Bible, they think they can talk to me. They will not talk to me. But I've changed, I've changed my ways bro, I've changed my ways, I'm telling you that now. I know Yodge, I know all of them man there, you understand? I know Taliban, I know Yodge, I know all of them man there. I know Ida man, I know Tibetan man, I know Guam man, I know Meridian man, I know Ibrahim man. All of them man there are, 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 are soft to man that stand up for the whole side. Alright, the soft, all of them are soft. Alright, so move. What profit is the graven image? What profit is graven images? That's the maker that? thereof. Shut I'm up, man. What would you do? What are you talking? You said what? we're holding Bibles. Can we read it then? Read it now. And shut read up. In Hebrew. What That's profit Greek. is the graven image? I'm reading in Greek. That the. Oh. You can't read Greek. You can't read Hebrew. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I'm going to listen. I'm going to be very humble right, right now. I'm going to be very humble right now. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just talk. I'm trying to be humble right now. Because right, I'm getting very. I'm not, bro. This is for you. Every time I'm reading this book, you know me at least. Yeah? So can I, I'm gonna read it. Yeah, yeah, bro, when I read, I beg you. I'm being nice right now. I don't have to be. Alright, yeah, yeah. I don't have to be nice. So I'm being nice. So can you be what nice? What are you doing here? up here? What, that's the question. What are you doing up here? What are you doing here? So do something with your life, then innit? Benefit your life. Go make some money. Clean your nails. Go have a bath. Damn! Look what you're wearing, bro. This is the fact. This what is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. What profit to graven image? What profit is that image on your chest? That make it therefore have an image um, have graven it. So what so who graven that? Who made that? Who's the one that graven that image? Who done that? Who graven that? You don't even know. You see what I'm saying? The molten image and the teacher. No Egyptians of don't know I'm talking about who literally carved that today. That's it. Who made that? Yeah, you don't even know. Alright? And where does it come from? The molten Egypt. Like, we're not Egypt, remember we're Hebrews that were put in slavery, alright? We're not Egypt, and he will tell you that we're not Egypt. He will tell you that we're not from his child. So there you go, that's not belong to you, that belongs to him. The molten image and a teacher of lies that the, the maker of his work trusted in it. So the maker of his work trusted in it. He should have it on. He's, he's an Egyptian. He should know you're not, you're not. All right, and I'll show and I'll show you why you're not an Egyptian, right? We're gonna show you. But how do you know an Egyptian? Uh, to make dumb idols um, that, um, that teaches it, to right. trust him in it. All right, so look, so look, yeah, so look, don't trust him that, right? It's a dumb idol. It doesn't work. He don't talk to you. He can't tell you. This Bible, the prophets, our ancestors, yeah, they wrote this thing down for us to know what's gonna happen in the days to come. That's why we can trust in the prophets, brother. All right. Where they are here for us. Where they are here for us. Where they are here Where they are here for us. 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 Where in the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 5. Then, then these 12 Jesus sent forth. So called Jesus, yeah, his name is Yahusha in the Hebrew, yeah? And commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. So don't go into the other nations, yeah? That's what we're here for, bro. We're here to come to you, bro. And into, into any city of the Samaritans. That's the other nations, the heathenic nations. Enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the Kenyans. To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the Turkish. To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 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 Isra
you're a sheep of Israel, and we're going to show you why. Let me do the Tronomy chapter 29 on verse 1. We're going to show you why. Bro, hear this, please hear this, bro. We're going to show you the reason why you're an Israelite. Yeah? We're going to show you why, bro. Well, well, you can have a friend, but is he your brother? It's my brother. It's my brother. No, but he's not. He's not from your nation. He doesn't fit the Because it doesn't matter. No, because you know what? Because you know what? Okay, do you come out of the genealogy of, of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob? It don't matter, bro. Alright, so there you go. God has created 18 I'm different things. We're not talking about being a religion. We're talking about being a nation, bro. You understand? We're not dealing with religion. We're not religious, you know? We're not. We're only dealing with the Israel. What did he just say? Yeah, he's going to say he's not an Israelite. And he don't repent. How? I can't become a Jewish man. I can't become a, I can't become a Chinese guy. His father, okay, you know a seed. All right, you see, you see, all right, you see when he got a seed. You see when he got a seed, right? What do men carry? Seeds, don't we? All right, and we do what? We fertilize the woman, right? So, so we can say that a seed and the soil is a fertilizer, right? So we put our seed in the women and then they bring forth our children. And in the name of that child and the woman, it belongs to the husband, right? So yeah, so so he's his father, right? It's about your heart, bro. Let me, so let's get this, let's get this coming. No, because you know, we're going to and fro. We're going to and fro. No, we don't be so give me give me give me man. Give me Matthew chapter five. No, wait, 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 let's answer your question. Let's answer your question. Can I say something? Can I say something? Matthew chapter 5. We're all over the place. Why do you respect something that people Matthew chapter 5. We're in, bro. It doesn't, it doesn't. It brings us out of the shit we're in. I got to go, bro. Yeah, Matthew chapter 5. I got to go, bro. Yeah, Matthew chapter 5. No, just wait. Just wait. One sec, one sec. Look, Matthew chapter 5 and 48. Read it out loud. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So, bro, we are told to be perfect, even like our father in heaven is perfect. So, if we are told to be perfect, bro, we need to know what he's told us for perfection. All right? He's told us to not be faggots, not to eat pork, to keep our beds. You understand? Keep the Sabbath day holy. You get it? And all that's going to happen, bro, is that when we see you next time, most I believe, we planted a seed and it grows in you, bro. We don't, you know what I mean? We're not trying to force you. We're not trying to force you. We're just trying to tell you that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. All right? You're God's chosen. You're holy. You're separate. You're better than all the people on the earth. And these other people are your enemies, bro. They, biblically, bro. They're your enemies. Now, whether you like it or not, when they go home, their granddad's saying, oh, why, are you feeling, why, are you, why are you messing around with them niggas, man? Their dad's going to say, why are you fucking with them niggas, man? Don't bring no nigga back home. You even said it, your Kenyans only deal with Kenyan women. So you're going to say, don't bring that Jamaican woman back home. Yes, you are. All right? Because you don't, you don't deal with anyone else except the Kenyans. Yeah, well, then now you say, you say, fuck them niggas, man. That's what you say, man. You guys are racist as well. That's why, that's why the son of man, he says in Matthew chapter, get it, Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. You've got the white man's bloodline. No, we're not, we ain't. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not what? I am, I am not, not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israel. Exactly, the most high is not sent That's to right. any of these other nations, man. Uh -uh. He's only sent unto the children of Abraham, Isaac, is that what him put to him now? and Jacob. About the word nigger, and still, and still some, and still have to look at slave and mentality issues. Yes, brother, they have. Yes. Uh, yeah, they got their issues, man. Yeah, issues of slave and mentality, fools. Yeah, well, still get that still one in there. Still, every, still every sitting that's underneath that's the leader. Give me, um... They must sit down underneath the slave leader's ass Probably and I kiss them foot button. Mm. Oh, nigga. Hmm? Imagine that. Greenwash, uh, who is that? Proverbs. Don't publish your dabble. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 23. I'm 23. The heart of the wise teaches his mouth, 
and added on to learn um added learning to his lips. Yeah, and the mouth of the uh, if you're wise, you'll add you'll add righteousness to your lips, man. All right? That's right. That's what you're saying there, man. And that's what we do. All right. If we're wise, we're gonna add the, the law, statutes, and commandments in our sayings. Everything we say, we say with the law, statutes, and commandments. This is a book of Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 3. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips. Shall be um shall have destruction. Yeah, exactly. All right. If you open wide your lips, you have destruction. Give me Matthew twelve fifteen. All right. If you open your wide your um give me the chapter twenty. Uh, Matthew twelve fifteen. Matthew twelve fifteen. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Exactly. Every idle word that people speak up here, man. All right, it's going to be accountable. All right, that's why we, when we, even like your thoughts and your and what you and your what you look at, man. All right, it even says about the the people that look on women lustfully. Alright? I'm gonna say more things. People that women have that sorry, yeah? Okay, you're sorry. Say one little chapter and don't see it is I'm homeless and it's that taking it. Say a prayer for me to get back on my feet. My name is Leon. What's your what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Um water I would be Where's your father? Where's your father? Where's your dad? Where is your dad from? Dubai. Alright? No, my dad's in English. English, yeah? Dubai. And my mom. Well, it could be a spirit on him. You never know. You never know. It could be a spirit on him. But no, obviously, but there it is. We're going to um, We're going to read these and then we're going to come back to you, alright? We'll read these, alright? Alright, you can listen over there. 37! words thou shalt be justified and by thy words shall thou be condemned exactly for every word you speak shall be accountable for in the days of judgment man and by the words you use you can be condemned all right the fact that guy came up here and said you mind saying a prayer for me in that day the most i might use him to be a slave man and say i won't I'd utterly obliterate you man wow. because you said something of a of some sort of standpoint of repentance or submissive or you know what I mean you was being humble you're all right sisters you're good yeah we're holding bibles Is you astonished by that all right this is the book of Sirach chapter 20 and verse 18 if you never knew Sirach Sirach is in the book of the Apocrypha all right it means they're missing or hidden books all right that they took out all right it's not in your 66 books all right this is the extra books Find, found in the 1611 King James Version, okay? The real, a black, a so-called black man that they as, as, as assassinated on the Guy Fawkes, on the Guy Fawkes, man, after the, 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 trial, the trial of the assassination of the black kings, all right? The Renaissance periods, and so on and so forth. To slip upon the pavement is better than slip with the tongue. So Sirach chapter 20 and verse 18 says, to slip, on the pavement is to better than to slip with the tongue because you know your tongue is powerful people speaking it's not a it's a it's an energy and it's a power that you shouldn't take for granted we should use words and use them properly because the fact it's got spell on the word spelling is to actually cast spells you see that it's very powerful how you use words man words ain't to be used lightly Words, we need to use them for righteousness, man. If you use words under wickedness and to defile people and to, and to trick people and to con people, all right? You know what they, they're called scammers? They use words in subtle and soft and submissive to defile people, man. All right? You've got to use them properly, okay? So the fool 
of the wicked shall come speedily. So shall the ball of the wicked come speedily. Alright? Because every idle word shall be accountable in the day thereof judgment. Alright? So now let's keep let's keep it pushing. Let's go to the book of Revelations. Alright, no, we read that, didn't we? Luke chapter 19, verse 26. Give me um, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Um, this is the book of Luke chapter 19 and verse 26. For I say unto you that, that unto every one which hath shall be given. Sorry. Give me, um, let's, just, yeah, let's cut it on that one. Give me Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 15. Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. Alright, Amos 5 and 10. Right, yeah, this, is what this is what it's getting into. Right? They don't like us when we're talking up for uprightness. Right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward. That's what's happened right here, man. All right? Judgment is turned away backwards. All right? Everything that they said is on the right hand side has now been gone onto the left hand side. And everything on the left hand side has now gone to the right hand side, man. All right, woe to them that call good evil and evil good. Isaiah 5 and 20. And justice, justice standeth up afar off, for truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And that's what we do, man. When we move away from evil, we find that people want to persecute us, man. When we turn to righteousness, people want to slay us. We're trying to tell people to be righteous. We're reading the Bible saying that the Israelites are going to inherit the kingdom. And they want to play, they want to hurt us for that. The Bible says this. The Bible says that God's chosen people shall inherit the lands because you guys were rubbish at it, man. You guys didn't do a good job. All right? You let profanity keep going on. You let lusting and whoremongering, you let idolatry go into a wildness. You sacrifice swine's flesh on the altars. All right? God doesn't like it here now, so he wants to change it with the prophecies of Isaiah and the prophecies of Ezekiel and the, and the, and the, the, the powerful fire that comes out of Jeremiah. All right? The, um, the, the real understanding of Daniel man the, the foretelling of Yahweh Shai all right he wants to bring out thus saith the word and you cannot return it way you cannot say no God boom I don't want the Israelites to run the world like who are you who is man let every man be a liar but let the word of God be the truth you understand all of your stuff that you talk is vanity is vain it's nothing all right um yeah bring out this one this is the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They do what? They, they hate, hate him, him that rebuketh rebuke in the gate. And we are, to, to openly rebuke is to show love to your brothers and sisters, man. They hate them that say, yo, woman, yo, you need to wear it. You need to take off them trousers and put on a dress because you're showing off all your rampant parts. All right? They hate us because we say righteousness, man. We hate them because they say, woman, stop relaxing your hair and straightening your hair. You've got nice woolly hair. God gave you woolly hair. Keep it woolly. They hate us. They shake their heads like, no. Why did he tell me that, I, that I, my hair is beautiful when it's natural? They hate us when we tell them to be natural, man. If we tell them to be plastic, all right, get a boot drop, get a bomb drop. I've got some hundred dollar peri um, Peruvian weave. They will say, oh yeah, where do I get that weave from? Where'd you get it so cheap? That's right. They'll think, they'll think it's a good thing. Oh, where'd you get that? Where do I get a cheap bum job? You understand? They'll think that we are righteous for saying wickedness, man. All right? God. Um, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. All right? They despise us because we speak uprightly. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. I am therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. 
I might therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. Because these people, yeah, we didn't read it earlier on, John chapter 8 verse 32, John 8 32, I might become your enemy because I'm telling you the truth. Alright? Because we're reading thus saith the Bible, are we now your enemies? I, I, I thought we was meant to be grown up in a Christian country where we're allowed to read the Bible. But we tell our women, yo, the Bible says you can't wear those things. That is not modest apparel. Oh, why are you telling me that for? Because it's the truth. Now we're your enemies, man. All right? Now you don't like us. Now you're saying, oh, fuck them guys, man. All right? But, they, but yet they want to call themselves B-I-T-C-H, listening to Megan Stallion. All right? Listening to Cardi B. Listening to Nicki Minaj's, man. Listening to Beyonce. But yet, we're your enemies. And then women are pulling you damn wicked. They're pulling you damn whores. All right? They got whaps and that. Like, what are whaps? Yeah, well, they, they can do what they want to do yeah, yeah, under the judgment of God. When God comes, they sh Oh, don't judge me. Let God judge me. All right? We told you. We got the blood off our hands. Now let God do it. All right? Let the Hawabar Shem Yahu shine. Bring out. This is the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And why ah. are they going to know the truth? Because Proverbs 1 and 21. Right? Wisdom crieth out in the streets. Right, so like, you got to keep a bed, bro. We told you that last time, man. Stop growing it. Stop crying it. All right? Yeah, bring it out. Yeah, this up. is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 21. 20, 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom is meant to be cried out in the streets. You're not meant to be getting drug dealers on the side of the roads. You're not meant to be getting prostitutes and whores selling the, the, the punani on the side of the roads, man. All right? You're meant to get wisdom, people that are holy and prophets, reading the Bible, man. Not your fake pastors asking you for some money to give you some dumb prayers that won't ever, you won't ever receive. You're praying for the lottery. You're praying for money. You're praying for a car. And it won't work. You understand? Like them guys there. It won't work, man. Yeah? She crieth in the chief place of concourse. And that's why wisdom crieth out in the chief place of concourse, man. All right? Wisdom is actually the Bible, not no damn unholy toilet papers, man. All right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 26 and verse 14. As for me, behold, I am in your hand. Do with me as seem is good and me unto you. But no, ye of certain that if ye put me to death ye shall surely um, ye shall surely bring innocent blood upon yourself so yeah man like jeremiah was speaking uprightly and he says yo if you put me to death i'm innocent but they hate us because we're speaking uprightly but we're innocent man all right we have done nothing wrong all we're doing is reading the bible if you put us to death you have got innocent blood on your hands. 